What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, yesterday, I was real busy. Went out to eat after. Had a lot of stuff to work on. Um, went out to eat. Went out to catch a movie. So, I was a little bit dormant. But I'm back. A lot of things to talk about. One thing I want to talk about, if you guys watched the fights last weekend, I enjoyed myself. But Adrian Broner was on Show Sports. Shout out to Show Sports. I'll put the link in the description. And he was basically doing an interview. And he said some questionable things, at least to me, in that interview. And basically what he was saying was, in his last fight, in his loss to Maidana, he's the closest thing to Floyd Mayweather. So people feel like Floyd Mayweather took an L the night he lost to Marcos Maidana. Eh, wrong. I've never thought like that because... If you follow my channel, I even made a video about the vast differences between Adrian Broner and Marcos Maidana. A lot of people were, were talking about the shoulder roll. Even the shoulder roll, they implement a different version of the shoulder roll. I think um, Mayweather is far superior, and I talked about that. He not only moves backwards, but he bends side to side, um, round, duck down. And he doesn't, contrary to a lot of people's belief, he's not consistently in the shoulder roll it's not like the only defensive move he's a pretty complete fighter and his defense doesn't consist just of that if you watch the fight with Robert Guerrero a southpaw the shoulder roll is not effective or as effective against a southpaw so if you watch the fight with Guerrero he was rarely doing it he didn't do it as much as he might have done it in another fight so as far as Adrian Broner's comments he's starting to remind me of a um, Victor Ortiz type Someone who's entertaining, puts on entertaining fights, they'll sell tickets, but sometimes for the wrong reasons. Like, what the fuck did that dude just say? Just to the point of utter delirium where, where you're like, is this guy delirious? Does he really believe the shit that's coming out of his mouth? And that's what I'm starting to feel with Adrian Broner. I'm like, does he really believe that? Who the fuck thinks that because he took an L, Mayweather took an L, like, you know what I mean? Nobody considered, and he said, I'm still, even with this loss, the closest thing to Mayweather. Um, I think it's going to be a tough road ahead for Broner because I think one of the the big roadblocks to him progressing as a fighter is all up top and him maturing. And from what I can see, what he's displayed outwardly, he looks like the same OG. He looks like the same person. The Marcos Maidana, I thought that would humble him, um, make him just really get focused and serious. But it doesn't look like it. I follow him on social media I always see him, he's taking vacation, that's cool, you know what I mean, spend some time with your chick, take a vacation, but some of the posts he puts, it's still like, oh, pocket change, AB, spending a little money, this little man money, you know what I mean, just that same flamboyant, like flamboyant, um, boom boombastic, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, type of, like Ric Flair type of demeanor, where he just wants to be this glamour and glitz, and to me, I think he needs to get back to the basics, Decide if the Marcos Maidana fight is really what he wants to do. In my opinion, I think he should take another fight. Um, just somebody else, not named Marcos Maidana. Let the tension build up and then make the rematch. But build your confidence back because we know in the sport of boxing how fickle you motherfucking fans are. If he loses back to back, it's it's a wrap. You, I've seen guys who were undefeated, and then after that that one L. And then a second consecutive loss, people write him off. They're like, fuck it. He's a bum. Retire. He's done. But they were the truth just moments before. Um, I just think Adrian Broner, like I said, he kind of has that Victor Ortiz type of personality where I'm like, is he bipolar? Does he really understand and believe the things he's saying? Like, it just seems like a ploy to to get people to buy into him losing. Like, oh, I lost, Big Bro lost too. No, Big Bro is still undefeated. <laughs> they don't have nothing. It just doesn't make sense. That's like, it's some of these young dudes, man, um, these Richard Shermans and um, Adrian Broner types, they they come across as really narcissistic, and they can have all the skill that they want, but one thing you don't have is experience, mileage, years, and that's the ultimate test. Like, I've seen guys who were, the best punchers or they look feared, Jermaine Taylor types. And within a few years or after certain landmark defeats, they're bums and nobody cares about them. Nobody gives a fuck. So to me, 
longevity in the sport. Be like the Mayweathers and the Pacquiao's, the Kodos, where you've been consistent. You've given consistent performances, consistent sellout shows. You have to reach those new heights and, and achieve those accolades before you could really, I guess, start feeling yourself to the point where you start comparing yourself to the greats. Um, I just don't think Broner's there yet. He has a young career. He has a skill set. He could put asses in the seats. He has a following. Um, he has heart. He showed us in the Marcos Maidana fight. I'm good with that. He's up for a challenge. He jumped up two weight classes. That's cool. I'm good with all that. But I feel like a lot of these young cats in the game, they don't earn their stripes fully. And I'm not taking anything away from Richard Sherman because he, he's a dope, probably the best CB in the league, like he said. But they speak on it as if they've been in the league or they've been in their respective sport for oh so long. People like Peyton Manning paid their fucking dues when Peyton's back was against the wall recently. He was coming back from a career ending, potentially career ending injury. His neck was all fucked up. People were writing him off. They got a new young hotshot quarterback in Andrew Luck to replace him with the Colts. They're like, fuck this dude. He's, he's dead weight now. And everybody wrote him off. Nobody thought he would do what the fuck he's been doing. And he had like his best season this season with a brand new team um, that he's still developing chemistry with players like Wes Welker and and just the team, he hasn't been there long. And now he has the potential to win the whole Super Bowl and be the only quarterback, to my knowledge, um, with Super Bowl rings with two different teams, which is iconic. So, to me, guys like Peyton Manning, Floyd Mayweather, guys like that, they've actually paid. They've been in the game. They've been in the sport, their respective sports. They've paid their dues. And then you get these young Richard Shermans or Adrian Broner types and they're like, that's what you get when you put a garbage quarterback to, fuck, ah, ah. like, you know what I mean? And they start trying to scream on shit. Just chill. If you're skilled, you're athletic, you're gifted, that's good. Career-ending injuries happen. People fall off. Drugs happen. All kinds of stuff. Like, let your history be written before you start proclaiming you're the greatest and um, comparing yourself to the Mayweathers. Like, I just don't, like I said, I don't get it with Broner. I don't think he understands. Like, you got to earn your stripes. This shit ain't given because you said it. You're self-proclaimed. You're like, everybody feels Mayweather took a loss because I took a loss. No, I don't. I don't know who the fuck who everybody is because I'm not included in that statement. Mayweather's Mayweather. Broner is Broner. And that's how I looked at it. And I've always looked at it like that. Some people might be gas casual fans. Might be like, oh, yeah. They fight the same. They're both Negroes. Like, I don't know. But for me, I never thought they were the same fighter or anything. And again, Floyd Mayweather is far more accomplished. Peyton Manning's far more accomplished. And it's funny how people try to bring others down to kind of use it as a scapegoat. Like, I remember if you watch the movie Friday with Ice Cube, um, the first one where Chris Tucker owes Big Worm some money. And he said... He wants us to pay up before or he's going to kill us both. And he's like, huh? Ice Cube didn't have nothing to do with the whole transaction and the owing money. But Big Worm's like, I'm killing you and him. And that's kind of how people feel. Like when they're down or the spotlight's on them, they want to have that strength in numbers. Like Mayweather didn't take a loss because you took a loss. Nick. You took a loss. Like <laughs> I just I, I think it's funny that somebody would open their mouth and fix their lips to say something like that. When there's no one else to look at but the man in the mirror, maybe you were ill prepared, maybe you underestimate him. You thought it was going to be as easy as people were building up. You thought the odds were in your favor and you were the favorite. So I guess you thought you you had an easy, easy night, easy work or whatever. And you underestimate him. But don't bring the next person in. That's like Colin Kaepernick saying, I'm the closest thing to Peyton Manning. So me not getting into the Super Bowl, it's like. Peyton didn't get into the Super Bowl. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That makes no sense. Peyton Manning is in the Super Bowl. Floyd Mayweather is still undefeated. His last performance was one of his best, you know what I mean? Like, in terms of sheer domination based on the, the competition and what the critics thought. Some people said that Canelo would be his toughest test. Some people said he was going to get knocked out by Canelo. He's a big dude. He was 
Um, he had momentum. He had a boxer puncher style. A lot of people said he was going to get his ribs crushed and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I seen Canelo hit the heavy bag. That's going to be Mayweather's ribs. He's he's dead meat and all kinds of stuff. So it's just funny seeing people like Adrian Broner and, and the antics and guys like Victor Ortiz. I really want to know if they believe this shit that they're saying. Like I said, the biggest advice for him, I think he needs to scrap all the Mayweather comparisons and Little bro, big bro, ass beating, A beat. Like, go back to the basics. Before you had money, before you had diamond rings and watches and band camp, A beat, like all that, about billions before all that. When you were still hungry, when you were still focused, and take it back. You know, you know, you got to take it way back, way back old school, because I just don't see it looking good for Broner if he doesn't fix up his, his attitude mentally. This is this is not a, a young man's um it's a young man's game, but it's not for fighters who like boxing will cause you to grow up quick, I guess you could say. So if you're you're um young minded, that's not gonna be a good look because a lot of times you're gonna be pitted against the best or the people who are coming up in the ranks or doing good or whatever the situation, especially if you're a superstar and they're hungry, they want it and they're focused, so you have no time to be partying. I heard he parties and drinks and um, eating out strippers and all kinds of extra stuff, filming a show, rapping, rap tour. Good luck with that. But I just don't see that being positive. And I think until he, he gets away, I know boxers, like I did an interview with Henry Ramirez. He said, Chris Ariola is from California or whatnot. He took him to Arizona because there was too many distractions at home. You know what I mean? People going, meeting up at the bar, the bowling alley and you know what I mean? You might influence your diet or you might have a couple beers to watch the game or whatever. He took him all the way to the boonies, all the way out to Arizona to train for the Seth Mitchell fight. And look at how Chris Ariola looked in the Mitchell fight. He destroyed him in the first round. So sometimes you have to rent a cabin, go to Big Bear like Gennady Golovkin and just put that good old fashioned work in the old Rocky three and four montages where you just get to the grind. Fuck all the twitters and band camps and stuff just really hone your skills get um get sharp and just constantly sharpen your knife and i think broner needs to do that seriously if he wants to be a serious contender again the marcus by fight i would say let it build up hopefully his camp or whatever is in his ear saying this is not an immediate you don't have to exercise an immediate rematch clause the fight's going to be there and build yourself back up get more acclimated to the weight division because back-to-back -back losses is no good for any boxer. Let me know what you guys think of A.B. Apparently, he feels he's the closest thing to Floyd Mayweather. And that night, everybody took a loss because he took a loss. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.